That we say that is our life. Then what do you mean by a religion? Religious life. You tell me, what is religion to you? Morality. Just a word, I think. Morality. Just a word. Not to be any. Sir, I said, what is. What do you mean by religion? No. The word. Sir, what, the word itself, what does religion mean to you? The word, not what it implies, the meaning, the significance of the word. Praying. Putting together <coughs> relationship with the divine. Relationship with the divine. How do you know about the divine? You see, you are not so incredible. The word religion comes from etymologically, from various Latin Greek, which meant originally to tie, to bind. Now they are denying that etymological meaning, they, are, they, are, they have given a new meaning to the word religion, which is, if you are interested in it, means to gather all your energy. That's all they mean. Do you understand, sir? To gather all your energy, fine. Right? Would you? Not all the nonsense of temples, rituals, and all this either, sir. What you put on your head. You see how you all agree? Would you agree to that? The meaning of the word. That means gathering every particle of energy that you have to inquire into what is truth and what is reality, to inquire into what is meditation, to inquire into why human beings live the way we are living, to inquire if there is an end to sorrow, to inquire into what is love, whether one can live without any effort and control, all that is implied in that word. Would you... A religious life implies being a light to yourself, which means no outside authority except law, policemen, taxes, that's a different matter if you have to pay taxes or if you, do, if you want to deceive the government by not paying tax and so on. We are talking about having no spiritual authority, including me, the speaker. We have described what tradition is. Are you free of that tradition? Because otherwise you can't proceed to find out what religious life is. Because one must be free to climb great heights. If you want to go to the Everest, you must throw away all your burdens and carry, and carry very little. So I'm asking, we are asking you courteously, if you have thrown away your traditions. Yes, sir, I have. Traditions being nationality, your caste, your beliefs, your mm, rituals, going to the temples, all that. 
Have you thrown it away? No, no, sir. No? No. No. Then how, how can you find out what a religious life is when you are blind? So you want to find out what a religious life is and yet won't leave your little enclosure. Right? See, see your own tragedy, sirs, and you are slaves to certain things and you say, I must find freedom. You won't let that go to find it. So what shall we do? We are caught by the crocodile. We are caught by the crocodile, he said. Crocodile? Yes. <laughs> like a donkey tied to a post, it can't go very far. You are tied to your tradition. And you want to enter into something that demands a mind that is capable, a heart that can really love. Can tradition, culture coexist with a religious life? We went into that very carefully. We said, Culture, tradition cannot possibly exist in a religious, with a r religious mind. If, you want, if one needs to find out what is truly a religious life, one must abandon totally tradition, totally any form of culture as it is understood. which means a free mind, a mind that's not caught in Christianity, in Buddhism, in Hinduism, Islam, or in some other sect and guru, none of that. That means total freedom. And out of, in that freedom there's tremendous energy, because there is no conflict, no struggle, nothing. Right, sir. Thank you.